game double tap it is me again mike and it's time once again for our wickedly amorous and playful prince of lost air one welcome back everybody i am so happy to be here episode four part four whatever you want to call it i'm very excited about what's going to happen next in our story we have a new surprise noisemaker. If you've been watching my videos, you know what it is. Uh, one of our noisemakers didn't turn out right, so we're going to get a new one. So I got to send back the old one and get a new one. But uh, I'm super excited. It's about 8 p.m. here. It was a very hot day here in Midtown Sacramento. And I've been looking forward to getting into some Lost Air 1 all day long. And I have just the perfect partner in Playmate, you, as you join me for our flirtatious journeys into the forbidden world of magic, demonism, might, magic, love, romance, all the good stuff. And let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> Seventy percent, sixty-five percent, sixty percent. Words, carriage, vertical headings. Thea reaches into her pocket and takes out the demon stone. All right. She turns it over in her hands a few times before handing it over. Last time, let's have a little quick recap, shall we? Let's get our sound makers out here and let's get a bit of a recap. Let's go. This should do it. No. All right, recapping last time, we had some success in our adventure in the ruins. Uh, we ran into a giant blob. We couldn't retrieve this demon stone, but we were able to get, I do believe, one demon stone from one of the guards of this particular temple, though I have no idea why they were digging a hole to get into the temple. It didn't seem that hard to get in, but it's probably magic. And probably the only way to get in was to have magic. We, of course, got in. We miserably failed. But your boy, you know what I'm saying? Your boy made a grand, fiery gesture and really impressed Jesse. So Jesse is, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? She's feeling us right now. But anyway, um, thank you very much, everybody. And a little bit of business before we get started. Uh, thank you to my noise. I combined three generators, RPG background music with suburbia minus all the electronics and gas powered things because this is there's obviously no gas powered machinery in medieval times. I kept the birds and the dogs. Combined that with an RPG background which gave it a nice full RPG sound effects. And then I added um, some guitar improv kind of thing but it is it's still not perfect i want to add more guitar because i really like guitar and i also heard a really good middle eastern song that i'm actually going to tangle with a little bit and play with it uh the next episode you'll hear a mid eastern style song i think it fits the game much more because rpgs feel like they have more of a middle eastern kind of feel to them but anyway those are some of the really cool things you could do with my noise that is m y capital n o i s e they are the best and they get a free commercial because they're accessible they're kind generous and i love using it in my videos all right that's about it for us and that is all the preamble out of the way. Go ahead and sit back, relax, and let's dive deep into Lost Air One. Gained an unknown demon stone. Thea reaches and well, your highness, Thea says, I led the expedition, so I should get first pick. But yes, you can have the stone. It comes out of your share though. All right, so we selected the demon stone because Thea, she's not interested in demon stone. She's more interested in working out, getting paid. Thea reaches into her pocket and takes out the demon stone. She turns it over in her hands a few times before handing it over. Gained an unknown demon stone. All right, so we got a nice demon stone. Cool. No titles. Sister Jerry says that the word highness, as it is, too many people now know. Right, we have gone to the home of Sister Jerry, by the way. We're spinning, we're spinning tonight. We have a little sleepover. <laughs> yes. 
Sister Cherry, we need them. There's no way I can reach Susak by myself. And if they're coming, they need to know who I am. This is it. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. You pause. Will you all come with me? Yes, everybody come with me. Let's get it on. Petra agrees to come almost right away. Thea isn't too far behind, whether for gold, fame, or loyalty. It is difficult to tell. Surprisingly, Jess nods in agreement as well. Okay, everyone's coming? Very well, Sister Jerry says. The five of us will go. We'll need provisions and a guide. Vernex is a long ways away and the mountain passes have already filled with snow for the winter. We won't be able to leave until early spring, either way. Good, Thea says. That will give me time to sell the rest of the treasure we found. I guess we'll be staying here in Elmvale for the winter. Wonderful, Jess says dryly, speaking for the first time. Everyone gets out their sleeping rolls and lays them on the floor in the cramped sitting room. You return to your old tiny room, eager to sleep in a real bed again. I'm such a gentleman. I let all the ladies sleep on the floor while I sleep in my room. Such a gentleman. Invite Thea to join you. Radio button. Check. One of four. Oh, we have a choice. What shall we do? Invite Thea to join us. Invite Petra to join you. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of four. I don't think so, Petra. You've been salty all freaking time. You know, you've been salty every part of this trip. Um... I don't want to take a chance in dropping my reputation. We're going to be chill. We're not inviting anybody back to our room, but we could invite Jess, but we just started building that relationship with her. We're not going to screw it up by being like a cad. Invite Jess to join you. Radio button. Unchecked. Three of four. Mm, so tempting. So tempting. Go to your room. Alone. Radio button. Unchecked. Four of four. Mm. Every time I invite somebody, I get slapped in the face, and then bad things happen. I lose all my reputation. I don't think it's time. I don't think our relationship is good. Let's check our relationship levels in our menu. Sister Jerry, no title, gained an unknown demon. Well, your hine, show stat, lost air one, show stat. Let's check our stats. Show stats. Lost air one, back button. This time we'll check our stats, because I know the last episode I didn't show you. Stats, heading, achievements, button, game the monk. Health, 100%. Specialized training. Colon. Monk levels, 2. Let's just read the whole thing. Monk levels, 2. Morality, good. 68% evil, 32%. Abilities, agility, 35%. Charm, 54%. Endurance, 28%. Perception, 60%. Strength, 43%. Willpower, 30%. Skills, <clears throat> archery, 10%. Devices, 10%. Magic, 10%. Blades, 72%. Stealth, 13%. Unarmed, 82% knowledge. Arcana, 63%. Geography, 49%. History, 50%. Nature, 58%. Religion, 65%. Relationships. Sister Jerry, 86%. Thea, 72%. Petra, 8%. Jess, 84%. Inventory your mount. A farmer's Ooh, old field horse named Farty. Wait, a pouch on your wait a a back containing. We have a lot of... Why were we allowed to invite Sister Jerry back? You know what I'm saying? You know, what's up? Our little ball headed monk. You know what I'm saying? I like that chrome dome. Okay, we have an 84% relationship with Jesse, so. Listen, if it isn't enough, it's not enough. Whatever. We're gonna invite Jesse back. I don't wanna deal with Petra and her saltiness. Thea, oh, you know what I'm saying? Muscular mama. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's go for We're gonna invite Jesse back to the room, but then. If we hang out with Thea, we can get some loot. Let's go hang out. Let's hang out with, with I think Thea's still cool with her. She's our wing woman. We'll just be cool with Jess and then we'll still be cool with Thea. We'll work on Petra. Alright, let's get uh let's invite uh let's invite Jesse back to the room. An unknown unglowing de a demon stone glowing a soft blue and a dem a demon stone and a known demon a backpack containing a lock a robe. All right, a, wait, lock, wait. a backpack containing. I'll let, let you hear the rest of what's in my inventory. And a known demon, a demon stone glow, a demon stone glow, a demon stone glow, and a known unglowing, a black rune bag a loot strung over, a bow strung, a dagger in your, a sword on your belt, a spell book, a pouch on your belt, your mount, a farm inventory. Jess, eighty-four percent. Petra, eight percent. Jess, inventory. Okay, here's our inventory. Inventory your mount, a farmer's old field horse named Farty. A pouch on Farty! your belt containing ten gold, a spell book, a sword on your belt, a you dagger gotta, in your you know sling, a bow strung over your back, a loot strung over your back. A black rune bag containing, and a known unglowing demon stone. A demon stone glowing a soft blue inscribed with the name Zayada. A demon stone glowing a grayish brown inscribed with the name Sanj. A demon stone glowing a dull green inscribed with the name Brel. And a known demon stone glowing a dim gray. A backpack containing, 
a lockpick set, a robe, a lantern, a water skin, flint and steel, a hammer and a few iron spikes, a sleeping roll, a thief harness for hands-free climbing. You are wearing the bone necklace of nature around your neck, plus 20 bonus to nature. Map of Daria by Roxas the cartographer. Don't look at your map. Radio button. Check. One of two. All look right. at your map. Next. Button. Cool. Next. Button. You leave your map in your pocket. Next. Button. You leave your map in your po Next. Button. Next. All right, oh, back button. that is all of our inventory, as I kept my promise. Thea reaches into her pocket and takes right, out the now, tombstone. let's go She turns invite... it over her. Petra agrees to come almost right away. Let's go. Very good. Wonderful. Everyone, get... invite Thea to join you. Radio button. Check. Invite Petra to join you. Radio button. Uncheck. Invite Jess to join you. Radio button. Uncheck. Let's Radio... invite Jess. Check. All right, here we go. Cross your fingers. Go to your room. Alone. Radio button. Uncheck. Next. Button. Next. Here we button. go. Let's see what happens. Say, the soul burner pauses, as though truly considering your words. Without a response, Jess turns away and joins the others. Although she keeps a serious look on her face, you can't help but notice a slight sparkle in her eyes. Sister Jerry raises an eyebrow, but says nothing. Oh, nice. Little, rela little relationship building up there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if it... Holds true. Just relationship plus 10. Oh, nice. I love it. Woo -wee. That's what I'm talking about. The soul burner pauses, as though truly considering your words. Without okay. just relationship plus 10. The next day when you come out of your room, you're surprised to see Carla sitting at the table with Sister Jerry. She doesn't say a word to you as you enter the room. Carla? Who's Carla? Oh, another salty. Ugh. Get out of my I'm working here. I told Carla who you are. Sister Jerry says she will be our sixth. Nobody knows the forests between Otto and Bond are better. I don't Even trust after the mountain her. Passes have cleared she in the spring. Sounds like we'll a, need a guy to find them. Sounds like somebody who's going to set us up for an ambush. I don't trust this Carla person. Get out. <laughs> Listen, the I mean, Sister Jerry, if you're working for the other side, because, you know, people who usually survive ambushes are usually working for the other side deep cover i mean you sister jerry you better not burn me with this fool carla i don't trust her i don't trust her i'm staying near thea let her muscles protect the prince the prince must survive shy timid carla seems out of place among the adventurers i Although don't care her skill with the bow will make her an excellent part of the team she Thea's sounds like a honey plate trap sits quietly waiting to hear what sister jerry has to say petra also eats breakfast but with much better manners than the large fighter whatever i like messy eaters say carla is a good choice and will make our trip much easier radio button check i don't One trust this carla chick say sister jerry you had no right divulging my secret without my permission Radio button, uncheck. Yeah, I don't want to piss off Sister Jerry. We may want to fill in that chrome dome one day. Say, I'm glad she knows, but I would have liked to have had the chance to tell her myself. Radio button, uncheck. Three of three. Eh. Next, button. Well, that's fine. We'll keep little Carla, put her into the, you know, put her into the, like, you know, the club, you know. I'm saying the prince is, the prince is posse. The prince is posse needs some work. Nice. Put it there. Put her into the prince's posse. That's fine. Next. Say, 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 say. Carla is a good choice and will make our trip much easier. Radio. Button. I don't even know Check. what she does, but three. she sounds like a scout or ranger. Say, say, ne 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 next. Button. That's fine. Let's go. Uncheck. Next. Button. It is a little strange to be home again. Sister Jerry relationship. I'm glad that you agree. S show stats. Button. I'm glad that you agree. Sister Jerry says before turning to Carla. You should have a few weeks to get ready. Make sure you get yourself a good horse. Sister Jerry relationship plus three and Carla relationship plus three. Ooh. Nice. A little bit of relation building with Carla, the shy one. Hey, shy girl. It is a little strange to be home again. The other villagers take your return well. Happy to see a local boy becoming a success within the Adventurer's Guild. The guild he's is told a that local the boy, and that your first job is a success. In addition, the Thea files the paperwork to show that the salvage mission is also a success. The, the details of where the party had gone and what they had found weren't recorded. As the days pass, Thea looks into selling the treasure from the Somrath stronghold. All right, sorry. Sister, it is a little strange to be home again. The other villagers take your return well. Happy to see a local boy becoming a success within the Adventurer's Guild. The guild is told that the sheep arrived safely and that your first job is a success. In addition, Thea files the paperwork to show that the salvage mission is also a success. The details of where the party had gone and what they had found weren't recorded. As the days pass, Thea looks into selling the treasure from the Somrath stronghold. All right. Good. Thea's selling that loot. Thea is one hell of a good partner. Like I said, even if we don't, you know, if we don't even kick it, 
it's cool because she's a good ass partner. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have muscle to my brains. It had been incredibly nice of Thea to give you first pick of the treasure, even though you weren't a partner. The demon stone was the only thing I'll that stood reward out. Her. The rest of the loot was sold. Your share of the proceeds comes to 50 gold. She, you know, she's really tight with the money though. Thea, I'm not cool with that. She's really tight with the money though, but that's cool. Gold plus 50. All right, we got a little bit of cash. Everyone rests, sells equipment, and buys provisions for the trip. Elmvale has a blacksmith, a general store owned by Carla's parents, a temple, and a few speciality shops. First thing we need to do is we do need to get some equipment. But first thing we need to do, we need to do some research on our new mama, Carla. Let's go talk to her mommy and daddy, make sure she's not no deep spy. Visit the stores for some personal items. Ready? Don't buy anything at this time. Visit this. Everyone rests. So gold plus 50. Everyone visit the stores for some personal items. Radio button. Check. Don't buy anything at this time. Radio button. Uncheck. Next. Button. Okay, I want to buy something. What other? That's all the choices I have? Everyone rests. Gold. It had been incredibly. It is a little strange to be home again. The other. Sister. It, is, it had been incredible. Gold plus 50. Everyone rests. Sells equipment. And buys provisions for the trip. Elmvale has a blacksmith. A general store owned by Carla's parents. A temple. Oh, and a few her parents shops. own the store. How convenient. Well, that's fine. Let's go shopping because this is going to give a kill. Uh, kill two uh, spies with one stone. Visit the stores for some personal items. Radio button. Check. One of two. Yeah. Visit the stores for some personal items. Don't buy anything at this time. Don't buy anything at the next button. Let's go check out the store. You visit several of the stores. You have 60. Visit the state. You have. You visit several of the show stats. But you visit several of the stores. You have 60 gold. Visit the stables. Radio button. Check. One I can't afford any more horses. I got. Hey, I will never give up on 40. Oh, 40. You're so cute. Visit the temple. Radio button. Uncheck. I should three. get me some more monk skills. Done shopping. Radio Let's go. Button. Visit the temple. Let's go visit Radio the button. temple. Uncheck. Two of three. Visit Check. the temple. Get some work here. Done shop. Next. Button. Learn some skills. Next. Next. B go. go bu buy a flask of. You have 60 gold. Show stats. But you have 60 gold. Buy a flask of holy water. Needs 40 gold. Radio button. Check. I One don't think I need a flask of anything yet. Buy a holy symbol. Needs 25 gold. Radio button. That's, check. that's useful. Holy symbols are great against vampires. Donate gold to the needy. Radio button. Uncheck. Not Three this time, you losers. Go back. Radio Let's button. Get Donate gold to the needy. Buy a holy symbol. Needs 25 gold. Radio uh, button. I don't think Uncheck. it's time. To to I'm saving my money. I don't think it's time for a holy symbol yet. I haven't heard any vampire stuff yet. So we're gonna we're gonna hold off and just Donate gold to the needy. Radio button. Uncheck. We gotta Three keep four. donating, though. We keep donating, we might find some help. Some Let's donate a little bit, okay? Buy a holy donate gold to the needy. Radio button. Uncheck. Oh, okay. four. We're gonna donate Check. a little bit. Go back. Radio next button. Let's donate a little next. bit of money. Next button. Next text field. Double tap to edit. All right. Use the rotor donate. to access words. We're gonna donate a little bit of our ill-gotten goods. You have sixty gold. Text field. Next button. Text field. Double tap to edit. Use the rotor to a insertion point at end. We'll donate 10 gold. Symbols. Letters. Space. Colon. Slash. Hyphen. Three. Two. One. One. Space. Go. Eight. Nine. Zero. All right. Zero. There. There's 10 gold for the poor. Next button. Buy. You donate some gold to the needy. Trying to help out the poor, you know? All those poor girls living on the streets. The prince, I'm a prince, this is my town. I must protect these poor females out here in the street. I must help them. You have 50, buy a flat, you have 50 gold. Buy a flask of holy water, buy a holy symbol. Donate gold to the needy. Go back, radio, next, button, next, button, next. The small flask of liquid looks like regular water, but the priests of the temple assure you that it has been blessed in the name of their gods. I don't remember buying any flask. Gold minus 40 and gained holy water. Oh, no, I, oh, I accidentally bought it. Sorry. Well, at least I have a holy symbol. I didn't mean to buy a holy water. Next. Button. Uh. Go back. Next. Button. Go back. Radio button. Check. Okay, I gotta get out of here before I buy anything else I don't need. Next. Button. Next. Okay, we well, have some holy water. I didn't need that. You have 10. Visit the stables. Radio so we button. have holy Check. water. One so, uh. 
visit the temple. Done shopping. Radio button. Un visit the temple. Radio button. Uncheck. Done shopping. Radio button. Uncheck. Let's get out of here before we Check. buy something else. Next. We're button. so broke. Next. Button. Talk. You aren't hiding. So your companions spend a lot of time sitting in the common room of the full cup in. You aren't hiding. So your compa- Show stats. You aren't hiding. So your companions spend a lot of time sitting in the common room of the full cup in. Days turn into weeks which turn into months as everyone waits for the mountain passes to clear. The idea of finally confronting Alexander Zusak for what he had done to your life was a constant thought in your mind. You do many things during your time in Elmvale. I don't want to confront this fool, but I will kill him. He's not the only one I'm going to kill, though. Talk to your companions. Radio button. Check. It's one time six. for talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get a job or a hobby. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of six. Look into your runa bag full of demon stones. Radio oh, button. Oh, it's time for Three runing. Well, I don't have much money for you guys to waste. Yeah, we will practice with our rune stones. Visit Suno, another traveler who is staying at the full cup inn. Radio button. Oh, Uncheck. that sounds like Four some nice little lore side story. We'll do that. Visit Jowl, the peddler. Radio button. Uncheck. We've got no Five money for all this stuff. Leave Elmvale for Vernex. Radio button. Uncheck. No, not six yet. Six. Next. Button. Let's uh, get some of this stuff done. We're gonna press. Let's get the stupid part of this mission out underway. Get a job or a hobby. Well, no, 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 no. Let's uh. Two of six. First, let's talk to our uh, friends. Get a job or a talk to your companions. Radio button. Check. One of six. Let's do that first. Next. Button. Next. Next. Button. Who will you speak to? All right. Speak to Thea. Radio button. Check. Speak to Petra. Radio button. Uncheck. Speak to Jess. Radio button. Uncheck. Let's Three talk to Jess first. Check. Next. She button. was filling me. Stop talking to your companions. Radio button. Next. Button. Next. Jess waits to hear what you want to talk about. Hi, Jesse. Ask, did you grow up in a town like this? Radio button. Check. One of five. Ask her, what was it like in an academy full of wizards? Radio button. Uncheck. Two of five. Let's do that wizard Jess. thing. Say, Jess, I know that you've had a hard life and I don't want anything from you. I just wanted to tell you that I like you. Radio button. Uncheck. That's, Three of five. that's true. That's true. But let's not get too crazy here. Say, let's train together. Radio button. Uncheck. Four uh, of five. We'll train. We'll train. First, let's talk. Stop talking to Jess. Next. Button. Let's talk first. Check. What the heck? It was good. At first, the soul burner replies quietly. You see, just give a sigh of resignation before facing you and continuing. I wanted to find a way to fit in, she says. The other mages loved it. They were all so curious. I was accepted as a student and I was doing well. I knew I'd never become a great mage. Traditional magic was difficult for me to work, but the access I had to arcane texts was phenomenal. I found many books speaking about how mages had tried to renew the lost soul of a soul burner. Jess relationship plus three. Oh, very nice. Ask, did you grow up in a town like this? Radio button, check. No, One ask five. her a simple, simple question. Next, button. Simple Next. questions. Similar in appearance, but much different in attitude. Jess says, they know what I am, yet they do not ask me to leave. I suppose that this is mostly due to your presence. That's right, I got you, girl. Jess relationship plus three. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Ask her, why did you leave the academy? Radio button, check. I think she One told us about that already. Don't piss her off. Say, Jess, I know that you've had a hard life and I don't want anything from- Ask her, why did you leave the academy? Radio button, check. One of four. Try this thing. Next, button. Let's try ask her about, uh... Next, button. This thing. Uncheck. Master Balwin, the Archmage. Kick me out. Home, home. Lost air one. Show stats. B Master Balwin, the Archmage. Kick me out. Jess says with venom in her voice. He had a personal vendetta against me. He said I was an abomination. He framed me, saying that I was cheating on my mage work, and kicked me out. I was getting close, too. I showed him my studies into the renewing of a soul, but he didn't care. He just wanted me gone. What a dick. But, Master Balwin retired last year, you recall out loud. Say, you should present yourself to the new Archmage and see if he'll let you back into the academy. That's right. Radio button, check. One of two. All right, we need to help her on her little side quest. Say, he did the right thing, not letting you stay at the academy. Radio button, uncheck. Uh, two of two. no. Next. Button. Say. Say. You should present yourself to the new Archmage and see if he'll let you back into the academy. Let's try Radio this. Button. Check. One of two. Next. Button. Next. Jess relationship plus five. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Je show stats. I don't know. Just say hesitantly. I'll think about it. Next. Button. Jess relationship plus five. I don't know. Show stats. But I don't know. Just say hesitantly. I'll think about it. 
Jess relationship plus five. Nice. Say, Jess, I know that you've had a hard life and I don't want anything from you. I just wanted to tell you that I like you. Radio button. Check. One, two, three. I don't know. This is risky. That's not turned. Every time we puppy dog, we lose. No puppy dogs. I'm not going for it. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. If we start turning, you know, like a little baby, that's it. She's gonna, we're gonna lose our game. You know what I'm saying? We need to keep our game tight. Keep right, you know? I don't know. I don't feel it. I don't feel it. I don't feel it. I don't feel it. I'm not feeling this one. I don't like this one. I'm gonna skip this one. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm gonna skip this one. It might get me reputation, but it might blow everything up. I'm not, I'm not gonna say I like her. I'm gonna let her just, I'm gonna let my actions speak for themselves. Say, let's train together. Yeah, now that sounds better. Say, let's train together. Say, Jess, I know that you have, say, let's train together. Radio button, uncheck. Let's try, Two, let's three. train together. Check. Yeah, get our arcane skills up. Next, button, next. Perhaps we can help each other. Jess says cautiously, what do you want to do? All right, training time. Say, let's talk about magic. Radio button, check. Oh, we open up a whole new bunch of stuff. Yeah, let's talk about magic. Say, let's study history. Radio button, uncheck. I don't want to do any schoolwork. Ask, can you show me how to strengthen my will? Radio button, oh, uncheck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this. Strengthen check. our will, yeah. Say, nothing for now. Perhaps an next button. Let's get, teach Look, me how to get, true that it get stronger. To Solvern, but why would you want to learn that? Jess says, demon summoning, is it? Or something else? Demon well. summoning, girl. I shall show you some exercises that can help. Yeah, get some. Build up my, build up my demon kegel muscles. Willpower plus five and Jess relationship plus three. Oh yeah. Nice willpower and relationship building. You do many things during your time in Elmvale. You meditate with Jess in the mornings. Yeah. Talk to your companions. Radio button. Check. All right. One of six. As you can see, there wasn't unlimited opportunities. I think I chose the best. What did you choose? So let me know in the comments. Please spam the comments. <laughs> Double tap and send it to me. Be gentle, please. I'm new. All right. <laughs> I can't take credit for that. We were watching, uh, Marissa and me were watching Medea, Medea's Big Happy Family or something. It was hilarious. Oh my God. Oh my God, we were laughing. We almost shook the house. We were laughing so much. It's a, it's an old movie. It's very inappropriate, but it's hella funny. <laughs> uh, we were watching a newer Tyler Perry movie. It was called um, Medea Homecoming. Eh, it was eh, it's not quite as funny. But Tyler Perry is a genius, but uh, I don't know. It was a modern story, but I like the premise of it. Good lessons, you know. I think this was something dealing more with couples, uh, gender, uh, couples who are LGBTQ, uh, T and plus, and uh, gender identity. So it's dealing with a lot more relevant issues, which I appreciate. Um, I, and you know, I, I do I do feel that in some communities, tolerance is very, very bad. So I like that in this movie, specifically um, with a lot of African-American actors that they're dealing with LGBTQ issues, which when I was growing up was a big, you know, no, no, you know, you weren't, you, you couldn't be gay or whatever if you were African-American and all that stuff like that. And, and it was, it's good to see uh, Hollywood bringing these issues out the way Hollywood does everything, as always, is not always great. But at least Hollywood is trying to um, make sure people know that uh, we can ex accepting people for who they are is the most important thing. We're all human beings, and we all deserve to be accepted. And we don't, and we should never be treated prejudicially because of who we are. And that's the key here. It's freedom. Freedom is not just what you have it's what you also give other people because when you treat other people badly prejudicially racistly that's not a word but i just threw it in there you know you're taking away their freedom 
So I think it's really, I think it's really great that mo more movies are tackling some of these uh, issues, these, these hot button issues that are kind of plaguing our society right now. Intolerance, racism, um, you know, and, and like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a huge politically correct person. Mind you, I'm inappropriate as hell. <laughs> I don't give a shit. But I do believe it's really important that we do tackle these issues uh, and that people people don't have to hide who they are. I think that is, if we can do anything in our society before we nuclearly melt down ourselves, and <laughs> I think I'd like to see us tackle, uh, you know, some of these really difficult issues. But moving on, back to the story. Intermission over. All right. So we've worked with her. Uh, we've worked with Jesse a little bit. Now, what do we got here? Get a job or a hop. Look into your Runa bag full of demon stones. All right. Let's, button. let's deal with these. Six. Let's do this rune. I think. Get a job. Talk to your companion. You do many things during your time and talk to your companions. Radio button. Check. Okay. One let's. Okay. I say I'm going to get all this talking out of the way. Then we do the rune stones. How's that? Okay. Let's talk to. Let's continue to build our relationships. Next. Button. I'm going to build our relationships. Then we'll get to the room stones. Next. Next. Button. All right. Let's get all this talking out of the way. Who will you speak to? Speak to Thea. Speak to Pet. Speak to Thea. Radio button. Check. Let's get One our six. Thea. Let's talk to our thick, muscular mama. Time to talk to Thea. Let's do it. Next. Button. Next. Talk about our plans, mama. My gangster mama. Thea waits to hear what you want to talk about. All right, Thea, we need to talk about our gangster plans, girl. Ask, do you like Elmvale? Radio button, check. Of course she One doesn't four. like anything. Thea is, Thea is the most negative person in the entire world. Ask her, did you kill your chief son? Radio button, uncheck. That's Two a of four. very inappropriate question. Say, let's train together. Radio oh, button, yeah, 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 uncheck. yeah, yeah. We Two are, uh, let's train. Okay, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this training done right now. Ask her, say, let's train together. Radio button, uncheck. I want to get this training Check. done because I missed the chance to do this last time. Next, button. Let's get this training done. Next. Sure, why not? Thea says, what do you want to do? Yeah, let's build some muscle. Let's hit it. Come on, let's smash. Say, let's lift weights. Radio button, check. Yeah, let's One definitely lift some weights, get some strength. Say, let's jog. Radio button, uncheck. Oh, stamina would be good. This is a possibility. Say, let's start with weapons. Radio oh, yeah, my weapon four. skills are. I don't. I'm not gonna focus on that. Say nothing for now. Perhaps let's another time. Do, let's do. Let's lift some Unchecked. weights first. Four let's four. lift some weights. Next button. Unchecked. Now you're talking. The large woman says happily. All right, she's happy. Strength plus ten and the relationship plus five. Oh yeah, that's a double. Nice. We built up two things: relationship and strength. I think. You do many things during your time in Elmvale. You meditate with Jess in the mornings and lift weights with Thea in the afternoons. We don't have a lot of choices with Thea. I thought we'd do a little bit more. Talk to your companions. Radio button. Check. Okay, let's One do some six. more talking. Next. Button. Next. Speak to Thea. Radio button. Check. One of six. Wait, wait, we can talk to Thea again? Let's try. Stop talking to your com- Next. Button. Let's talk to her again. Next. We want to still ask her some more questions and build relationships. Ask, do you like Elmvale? Let's ask her. She hates it. I know it. Next button. Say, Thea shrugs at your words. Oh, we're going to lose reputation because she doesn't like it? Thea shrugs at your words. It was only random chance that brought me through here the first time. Last summer, the beer in the inn is good. So sure, I suppose it's an okay little town. A little boring though. Oh, and it smells better now. Too many farms and farms stink in the summer. Yeah, that's true. Thea, like, knows all the stuff of, like, man, she knows, like, the lore and stuff. Like, she's hella, she's hella down. Be a relationship plus three. Oh, nice. Ask her, did you kill your chief son? Radio button, check, <sighs> one of three. Let's ask this stupid effing question. Ugh. I'll just get it out of the way. Next, button. I don't know. She didn't kill him, but let's just, you know what? Do I really need to know this? Do I really want to F this up with her? No, I don't. Say, let's train together. Stop talking to Thea. Re say, ask her, did you kill your chief son? Thea relationship plus three. I don't want to mess this up. If I ask her if she killed him, what if she gets pissed? Ask her, did you kill? Say, let's train together. 
Stop talking to say. Let's train together. Radio. Stop. Say. Let's train together. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of three. Uh, let's train together one more time. Check. But we can't spend too much time doing this because I do know there's a. It's not unlimited. You can't do these loops unlimited. But let's let's train one more time with her. Then we gotta talk to everybody else. We gotta we gotta build our relationship back up with Petra because she's being hecka salty. Next button. Let's Next. train with her one more time. Sure. Why not? Thea says. What do you want to do? Say. Let's jog. Radio button. Check. Yeah, let's do some jogging. Let's do some jogging. Yeah, let's go. Next. Button. Yeah. We'll do some jogging. Check. Yeah. I suppose it's important to keep in shape. The large woman agrees. Let's go. Let's hit. Let's hit the dirt. Endurance plus 10 and Thea relationship plus 3. Oh, nice. It's a double. You do many things during your time in Elmvale. You meditate with Jess in the mornings, lift weights with Thea in the afternoons, and go jogging with Thea in the evenings. Wow, we're working out. Okay, let's do some more stuff with other people. Talk to your companions. Radio button. Let's do Check. some more talking. This is really building up our stats. Next. Button. Let's Next. do some more talking. Let's talk to Petra. Speak to Jess. Speak to Carla. Radio button. Speak to Jess. Radio button. Uncheck. Wait, Three wait, wait, six. wait. We could talk to Jess again? Ooh. Uh, uh, let's talk to Jess. Speak to, speak to Jess. Radio button. I'm going to talk Check. to Jess again. Next. Button. I don't need to worry about Petra. Next. Talk to Jess. Jess waits to hear what you want to talk about. Yeah. Say, Jess, I know that you've had a hard life and I don't want anything from you. I just wanted to tell you that I like you. Radio button. Check. One of three. That'd be a lie. Say, let's train together. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of let's three. Let's train together. Check. Stop talking to Jess. Ra Next. Button. Let's go. Let's train together. Next. Wow, this is cool. We could train a lot of times. When would we do that? Your days are too busy, Jess says. <gasps> oh, we did too much training. Now we can't do something else together because I've been doing too much stuff with Thea. Oh, you tricky little, oh, you cheeky little. Ah. Nice, nice Lost Air 1. So the characters know when we're spending too much time with other people. Now Jess is getting salty over all the working out we're doing with Thea. So hey, we're learning. Okay, this is cool. I really love this. Relationship system, freaking the best I've ever had in any game. This is sick. All right, we don't have time to do any more things. Say, Jess, I know that you've had a hard life and I don't want anything from you. Stop talking to Jess. Radio, next, button. Stop talking to Jess. Radio button, uncheck. Let's two stop two. talking to Jess and Check. go talk to somebody else. Next, button. Wow, we can't do uncheck. anything most for her. Speak to Petra. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of six. Fine. We'll talk to stupid Check. Petra. Speak to Jess. Radio button. Speak to Carla. Radio button. Uncheck. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We haven't done it. Let's go talk to Carla. Check. Hi, Carlia. Let's talk to Carla. Speak to Jess. Speak to Carla. Radio button. Check. Four Let's of go. Six. Next. Button. Talk to Carla. Stop. Carla waits to hear what you want to talk What's about. Up, Carla? Heading not found. Say, thank you for agreeing to be our guide. Radio hey. button. Check. One of five. Thank you, Carla, for being our guide. It's really cool of you. Ask, so, you still working on that infinity arrow idea? Radio oh, button. she Uncheck. was the one Two with the five. infinity arrow. She hates our guts. Yeah, because we, we, is she the one that we pissed off because we hooked up with that barmaid back in episode one, part one? Yeah, you might have to go back to part one to see why I pissed off Carla. Oh, man, Carla. I don't think this is going to work, though, girl. You too. You, you know what I'm saying? We got to embrace the poly. The poly horse is riding. You got to embrace it. You know what I'm saying? You got to embrace it, girl. Uh, let's just chit chat. Ask her, why did you agree to come guide us to Vernex? Radio button. Uncheck. I don't Three care. Or five. Say, let's train together. Oh, uh, we can train. Four or five. That'd give us a little tinkering. So I do see we're out of we're training mostly physical skills and we're working with Jesse. There's probably no more room to train with anybody else. So we'll just chat and build relationship. Ask her, why did you agree to come guide us to Vernex? Radio button, uncheck. Ask. So, you still working on that infinity arrow idea? Radio button, uncheck. Two of five. Say, thank you for agreeing to be our guide. Radio button, check. We'll just One do something simple. Next, button. Next. Simple relationship building. Lost Air 1. Heading. Show stats. But you're welcome. Carla says in her quiet voice, I will do my best to get you to Vernex. Carla relationship plus five. Cool. A little bit better. A not nice little fiver. Got five on it. Messing with that Carla thing. I got five on it. Ask. So, you still working on that infinity arrow idea? 
Let's Radio see. button. Check. We'll talk to her about this infinity arrow. Next. Button. What Next. you doing, girl, with this infinity arrow thing? I don't think I'm going to be an archer. Next. Button. No, not really. Carla says. It was just a foolish kid's dream. I feel silly to have ever mentioned it to you. Needed 70 Carla relationship. Uh, yeah, well, that's not going to happen. Yeah, okay. That's a fail. Fail, fail, fail. Carla relationship minus three. Oh, come on. Must is a sore spot there. I'm still mad about that barmaid. Ask her, why did you agree to come guide us to Vernex? Radio button. Checked. One of three. Uh, let's try to stay away from those sore topics. Next. Button. Next. You're the rightful heir, Carla says. And I'm a good citizen. Isn't that enough? Needed 70 Carla relationship. Again? Say, let's train together. Radio button. Check. One of two. I don't want to train with you. You're being way too salty. Stop talking to Carla. Radio button. Uncheck. Wasting my time. Check. Next. Button. Get out Uncheck. of here. Let's talk to somebody else. Speak to Thea. Radi speak to Petra. Radio button. Speak to Jess. Radio button. Speak to Carla. Radi speak to Sister Jerry. Radio button. Oh, I Uncheck. should have talked Five to Sister six. Jerry. I didn't even. I totally Check. forgot about that. I could have learned some more monk stuff. Ugh. That was dumb. Ugh. Okay, let's talk to Sister Jerry. Next. Button. Next. So, you've become a demon summoner. Sister Jerry says with a sad shake of her head. Oh, come on, Sister Jerry. Don't be hating on my demon summoning. Willpower plus five. Okay, okay, cool. It went up a little bit. Say, the only way I can fight back against Zusak is to learn what he knows. Radio button. Check. One of three. Possibly. Say kindly. I know that you mean well, but I must learn this if I am to avenge my parents. Radio Th button. That's Uncheck. true. Two I do three. need to learn. I need to get revenge. Say rudely. You kept me ignorant of two men. Next. Button. Let's go. Say, say kindly. I know that you mean well, but I must learn this if I am to avenge my parents. Radio button. Uncheck. Two I need to check. stand up to Sister Jerry. I know she's like my mommy, but, you know, my sugar mommy, but, you know, I gotta tell her what's up. Next. Button. Next. Sister Jerry nods slowly and sadly. You can tell that she is disappointed in you. Oh, understand come on, Sister Jerry. Don't be dropping our relationship. Sister Jerry relationship plus three. Oh, whew, that was close. Tell Sister Jerry about your life as an adventurer. Radio button. Check. One yeah, yeah. I'll tell you my story. Tell Sister Jerry about Brother Verilis. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of four. I don't know. I don't even remember Brother Verilis. Ask. Can you train me some more? Radio button. Uncheck. Three oh, of four. Oh, no, no, no. Let's get that training in there. Check. Yeah. Next. Watch button. it mess up because Thea and me are training too much. Next. Button. Let's see Next. if we can squeeze this one in. When would we do that? Your days are too yes. busy, Sister Jerry says. Oh, man, I messed up. I got too much training going on here. Can I uncheck these trainings? Tell Sister Jerry about your life as an adventurer. Radio button. Check. One of three. Let's talk about our uh, life. Next. Button. Next. You've had a remarkable summer. Game. I'm proud of you, Sister Jerry says after hearing your tales. I'm going to remember this next time I play. Sister Jerry relationship plus three. Oh, cool. Nice little plus three. Just a little tiny point up. Tell Sister Jerry about Brother Verilis. Radio button. Check. One Fine, I'll tell her about this. I don't even remember what about anything about Next. him. Next. Button. I don't even remember. Next. Fate is a mysterious force. Sister Jerry replies ominously. Yes, I know Brother Verilis. He is one of a handful of individuals who have trained at the Eye of Heaven. Oh, that's right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He was cool. He was the one that could walk in air. Yeah, he was a badass. It was a one super sick ass monk in Matt. He was like breaking the fourth wall. Oh. Ask about the Eye of Heaven. Radio button. Check. Oh, yeah, One, yeah. Two. Watch, I messed up. Now I, don't, I can't learn this super cool-ass move. Uh. Fate is a... Ask about the Eye of Heaven. Radio button. Check. One of two. Ask about this Eye of Heaven. Stop talking to Sister Jerry. Radio button. Next. Button. Ask Next. about this skill. The Eye of Heaven is a great monastery high up in the peaks of the Northern Mountains. Sister Jerry replies. Although it is in the Bondar Duchy, it isn't very close to Vernex. When this is all over, you should go there. The things you would learn would change the way you see the world. I'm gonna go there, Sister Jerry. I gotta train all these young monks. All these all these poor monk girls with their little bald heads. Stop talking to Sister Jerry. Radio button. Check. Alright. The Eye of Heaven is a great monitor. Stop talking to Sister Jerry. Radio button. Check. Alright, let's get out of here. Thank you, Sister Jerry. Next. Button. Stop talking to your companions. Alright, we should probably talk to Petra. Next. Button. Next. Stop talking to... Speak to Sister Jerry. Radio button. Uncheck. 
Speak to Carla. Radio button. Uncheck. Speak to Jess. Radio button. Uncheck. Three. Speak to Petra. Radio button. Uncheck. Two Let's talk six. to Petra. Check. Waste of time. Next. Button. Next. Petra waits to hear what you want to talk about. Say, I'm sorry that we haven't been getting along as well as we did when we were children. Radio button. Check. One of three. That's true. That's an honest statement. Say, let's train together. Radio button. We can't train. Uncheck. We have Two no more three. spots. Stop talking to Petra. Radio let's button. Just Uncheck. Apologize cuz we're going to puppy dog this. Next. Button. Stop talking to Pet. Say, let's train. Say, I'm sorry that we haven't been getting along as well as we did when we were children. Radio button. Check. Yeah, one that's of three. the right one. Next. Button. Let's try it. Stop. People grow apart. Petra says, even among the pantheon of gods, no two divines are alike. Oriel and Lucian are both benevolent, but the scriptures speak of times when even they have quarrel. Okay. Petra relationship plus five. Oh, there we go. Nice fiver. Say, let's train together. We Radio don't have button. space. Stop talking to Petra. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of let's get out of here. Check. We've got a little five points of relationship with her. Next. Button. Let's go. Uncheck. Speak to Thea. Radio button. Check. Speak to Petra. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of six. I feel like we should ask those hard questions like, should we like Jess? Should we talk to Thea about her killing that dude? I don't know. It could open up some story. Let's 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 ask that hard question of Thea. I think we need to talk to Thea. I gotta understand this whole kid that got killed. Speak to Jess. Radio button. Uncheck. Speak to Carla. Speak speak to Petra. Radio speak to Thea. Radio button. Check. One let's talk six. to Thea one more time. I gotta ask this question. It's just bugging me right now. Next. Button. Next. This could be a side story. Thea waits to hear what you want. Ask. Have you heard of the Eye of Heaven? Radio button. Oh, wait, Check. wait, wait, wait a four. second. We could send Thea on the road for the Eye of Heaven mission. Let's get her on this mission. Yeah, let's get this going. Now, this is so cool. This game interacts. When I do something, the other people know about it. Or I can tell other people about what I am talking to other people about. So this game not only has a super badass relationship system, but it's got a nice information travel system and a rumor system. So, man, this game is sick. All right, um... Let's talk to her about that. Then we'll talk about the taboo. Well, not taboo, but the touchy subject of the village chieftain's son. Ask her, did you kill your chief's son? Ask, have you heard of the Eye of Heaven? Radio button, check. Let's get our four. important business out of the way. Then we can pry into her personal business. Next, button. Uncheck. Lost Air 1, heading. Show stats. It's a crazy place full of crazy monks. Thea says. It's on one of the highest peaks in the Norgan Mountains. We clansmen stay far away from the entire mountain. They walk around in these light robes, even when the snows are falling. Sure, I've heard of it. Well, we might have to go there and get some treasure. You know, we got a lot of young monks there, you know what I'm saying? Ask her, did you kill your chief's son? Radio button, Here we go. Check. Let's three. ask this dumb question. Here goes relationship drop. Next, button. Let's try it. Let's it see what happens. Up. She says in a surprised voice, of course I didn't. Thank God she didn't kill it. That was our secret sound. The large fighter lets out an enormous sigh as she hangs her head forward and her messy black hair falls over her eyes. It wasn't like that. Thea says, we were in love and I was his protector. A woman <gasps> oh. named Dorka was the chief's counselor and wanted the prestige of marrying into the chief's family herself so she could become chief someday. When she learned of us, she knew it would never happen. So she arranged for Yaldin to have an accident. Oh, that biatch. I can't prove it, but I know that Yaldin would never have gone out onto the thin ice of that lake without being tricked. Yeah, and I left the north. That was a murder. That was definitely a murder. The relationship plus three. Oh, nice! I got a nice three shot. Nice. Ask why didn't you challenge Dorga? Radio button. Check. Yeah, you three. should kill that. You know what? Say, let's train together. Ask why didn't you challenge Dorga? Radio button. Check. Let's One of three. do this. Next. Pry into her business more. I was a coward. Thea says. Oh, I, was afraid I don't that believe I'd lose so. I don't believe so, Thea. I don't think you'd lose any duel with anybody. Say, you should return and confront Dorga. Radio button. Check. Hell One yeah. Confront that person. Say, you need to let it go. Next. Button. Let's confront her. We're killing Uncheck. everybody. I've grown. Since then, Thea says, clearly referring to her muscles and skill in combat and not just her age. Yes, I will return to the Norgan Mountains when this is over and I'll challenge Dorga. I That's would be honored right. if you were to come with me. Say, I'll be with you. Of course. We're, of course I'll go with you. You know, meet all these mountain mamas. Be a relationship plus five. Nice, Fiverr. Say, let's train together. Radio button, check. I One wonder if two. we can, I don't think we could train anymore. Let's see. Be a relationship plus five. Say, let's train together. Radio button, check. Let's see One if we can two. do anymore. Stop talking to Thea. 
Next. Button. I don't think we can Next. do any more training. When would we do that? Stop okay, yeah. To Thea. So you Radio can't button. check. You can't overtrain. Even if you're training with them already, you can't do any more. So this is going to be good to know when we play through again. I'm sure I'll play through again eventually. Next button. Stop talking to Thea. Radio button. Check. Next button. Uncheck. All right. Speak to Petra. Radio button. Speak to Thea. Radio button. Check. One of six. Show stats. Speak to Thea. Radio button. Check. Speak to Petra. Radio button. Uncheck. Speak to Jess. Radio button. Uncheck. Three of six. Uh, shall we lie to Jesse and say that we don't want anything from her? We just like her like a puppy dog. No, if we lie, she'll read it. I'm, I'm not doing it. No, 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 no. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Speak to Carla. Radio button. Speak to Sister Jerry. Radio button. Stop talking to your companions. Radio button. Uncheck. Six Let's of six. Check. Let's go do something else. Next. Button. Next. Bu Stop talk. Next. Button. All right. Uncheck. Time to work on our demons. Get a job or a hobby. Ra talk to your companions. Radio buck. Get a job or a hobby. Look into your runa bag full of demonstrants. We need Radio some buttons. freaking Uncheck. money Three though. We're so broke. Get a Look into your runa bag full of demonstrants. Radio button. Uncheck. Let's Three do our six. demon crap. Check. Let's do our demon stuff. Next button. Next. Get our, we gotta get our demon skills up. Once more, you spend. Once more, you spend some time trying to decipher the demonstrants in your possession. The one glowing a dim gray says Donda. Yeah, we need to figure out what this new demon is. Arcana plus three. Oh, nice. Little arcane up. You are aware of how dangerous summoning demons is, so you make sure you are far outside of Elmvale in order to practice safely. You open your runabag and look through your demon stones. Yeah, let's do some demon work. Ask your companions to come with you while you study the demons. Radio button. Check. One of two. Uh, maybe that's a good idea, but they might kill one of them. Study the demons alone. Radio button. Uncheck. Next. Button. Uh, they can come with me. That's fine. I don't care. Next. Button. Some. Thea. Jess. Petra. And Carla all come with you. Since you plan to take an unregistered demon stone to the consortium, they all agree that learning more about demon summoning is important. You are surprised when even Sister Jerry comes to help you with your study, despite her hatred of the practice. As usual, you determine that it would be suicidal to try to summon a demon without knowing its true name, so you leave the unnamed stones in your runa bag. Yeah, it is suicide. Summon Zayada and speak the demon's true name. Radio button. Check. One we can, I think we might be able to control Zayada now. Uh, let's let's do this one. Summon Zanch and speak the demon's true name. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of five. Zonch, I think we can control it. Summon Brow and speak the demon's true nah, name. Nah, I don't Radio think we button. can summon Uncheck. Brow yet. Of, summon Donda and speak the demon's true name. Radio button. Uncheck. I don't Four know. Four five. Don't try to activate any of the demo. Next. Button. Let's try the first one. Next. Button. Next. Zayada appears in front of you. Its fragile blue body is only one foot tall, and it has a delicate web of ice between its fingers and toes as well as between its arms and its torso. Yes, Master, Zayada says, its breath making a white vapor as it speaks. Command, tell me what you know about your previous master. Radio button, check. One Let's two. see. Command, return to whence you came. Radio button. Oh, looks like we're controlling it two. pretty good. Next, button. Hey, we can control it. Let's ask him about his previous master. Command, return to whence you came. Command, tell me what you know about your previous master. Radio button, check. Next, button. If I must, the fragile ice demon says after right. he its will. His name was Alexander Zusak but I know very little about him. Oh. He sometimes made me cool down his drinks or the room he was in, but that was all. That's cool. You were a built-in AC unit. Nice. And nice bartender. With little more to add to the conversation, the small demon eventually pops out of existence, leaving only a small patch of frost behind. As usual, you determine that it would be suicidal to try to summon a demon without knowing its true name, so you leave the unnamed stones in your runa bag. We did good. Let's try another demon. Summon Zonch and speak the demon's true name. Radio button. Check. Let's One try Zonch. Next. Button. Zonch appears amidst a small cyclone of dust. Its brown skin is obscured by the sand as it spins around its one-foot-tall form. Yes, Master. Zonch rasps from Ooh, within the Ooh, we're controlling Zonch now. Nice, we got two demons now. Command, tell me what you know about your previous Master. Command, return to whence you came. Command, tell me what you know about your previous Master. Radio button, check. One of two. Next, button. Some, no, I have been commanded to not speak about my previous master. Zonch says, fighting your will and popping out of existence, leaving only a puff of dust behind. Needed 50 willpower, as usual. Mm. You determine that it would be suicidal to try to summon a demon without knowing its true name. So you leave the unnamed stones in your runa bag. Summon Growl and speak the demon's true name. Radio button. Check. I'm sure One we can't control this guy. All right, some of these guys are too strong. Well, I'm not going to try to summon all these guys. I know we're not going to have any luck with these guys. Summon Donda and don't try to activate any of the demon stones. Radio button. Uncheck. Let's get out of here. Check. Because the rest of these are too strong. Next. I don't button. want anybody 
on check. Well, I don't want to wind up naked in an alley, stabbing like a rat. You close your runa bag, blocking out the conflicting colors from within. Your companions eagerly return to Elmvale with you. You do many things during your time in Elmvale. You meditate with Jess in the mornings, lift weights with Thea in the afternoons, and go jogging with Thea in the evenings. Talk to your companions. Radio button. Get a job or a hobby. Radio button. Look into your runa bag full of demon stone. Visit Suno, another traveler, who is staying at the full cup inn. Radio button. Uncheck. Four Let's six. find out who this traveler Check. is. Next. Button. Next. Suno is tall and athletic. He's wearing a chain shirt and has so many weapons over his body that he looks like a traveling arms dealer. Short sword, dagger, crossbow, knives he even has a whip hanging from his belt. He's a member of the Adventurer's Guild and a weapon master from Opal Cove. A true expert of his profession. Suno greets you with a nod as you enter the common room. Eh, I don't have any need for those kind of weapons, and I probably can't afford it anyway. Ask, why aren't you working? Radio button, check, one of three. I don't care. Ask, can you teach me to use some of the weaponry you carry? Radio button, uncheck, two of three. Uh, Say goodbye. Radio button. Ask. Can you teach me to use some of the weaponry you carry? Radio button. Uncheck. Two of three. I guess he could teach me, but I don't. I don't care. Say goodbye. Radio button. Uncheck. I don't want to learn any of this stuff. Next button. Not Uncheck. interested. You do many things during. Talk to your companion. Get a job or a hobby. Look into your runa bag full of demo. Visit Suno, another traveler. Who visit Chowl, the peddler. Radio button. Let's talk Uncheck. to Chowl, the pe peddler. Next button. Uncheck. Chowl is short of stature and has all of his wares in a small covered wagon. He has been across the four duchies and back many times doing business. His sister lives in Elmvale and is pregnant, so he is staying the winter to help her out and intends to resume traveling afterwards. He has many great things in his wagon that the general stores do not. Oh, man, I wish I had some more money. Ask, how is your sister? Radio button, check. Yeah, let's ask him. Maybe get a little job, man. Leave Chowl's card. Next. Button. Next. Charm plus three and good plus one. Oh, there we go. A double. Ask Chowl if he knows anything about the Samra. Radio button. Check. One of five. I'll ask him. Next. Button. Next. Actually, I speak Samra these. The old man says smugly. I sell things to the consortium from time to time. In fact, I bought a few small items from that big girl you travel with. Why do you ask? Hey, only I call her big girl. You watch your mouth, fool. Cut your tongue out. Ask Jowl to translate the names on your demon stones. Radio button. Check. One of five. Oh, whoa, he could do that. That's cool. Come back at night and try to ask Jowl. Come back at night and try to rob Jowl's card. Radio button. Um, Uncheck. Two of five. I haven't been a thief yet. I'll try it in a different play. Ask Jowl to translate the names on your demon stones. Radio button. Check. One of five. Next. Button. Maybe Next. he'll do it for free. I don't think so, though. Lost Air 1. Heading. Show stats. But the old man seems trustworthy and is staying in Elmvale the entire winter. So you show him the stones and ask him if he can translate the runes. He offers to help you out for a reasonable fee. Great. I don't have money, dude. Decipher the unglowing stone. Needs 180 gold. Oh! Dim. Radio button. Unchecked. One of two. Okay, I don't have that kind of money. Put away your runa stones. Radio button. Check. Two of two. Next. Button. Sorry, dude. Unchecked. I can't afford you, man. Come back at night and try to rob Jowl's car. Look at Jowl's merchandise. Radio button. Uncheck. Let's Three find out five. what he has to sell. Check. Next. Button. At least I want to know what the you got. The has a lot of junk in his cart, but among the garbage, you see a few things that might be put to good I'm use. not interested in his junk. Examine the shield. Radio button. Check. Nah. One five. Buy a book of maps. Needs 135 gold. Dim. I'm Radio broke. button. Buy a history book. Needs 110 gold. Dim. Radio I button. want this stuff. This Three is so five. cool. Buy a book about numerology, tea leaf reading, and other dubious mystical phenomenon. Needs oh, 120 this is cool. Gold. Lots of Radio stuff button. here, man. Un Stop looking at what he has to sell. Radio button. Uncheck. Well, five five. we can't afford any of this Check. stuff. Next. Button. That's good to know it's still here, though. Next. We get some more money. We'll we'll invest in some of this cool stuff. Look at Jowl's merchant. Sell artifacts to Jowl. Radio button. Oh, wait, Uncheck. wait, wait. We can Four sell five. artifacts. Oh, wait, I didn't see that. Look at Jowl. Sell artifacts to Jowl. Radio button. Uncheck. Let's Four try this. I didn't know. Check. Leave Jowl's card. Radio. Next. What button. can we sell? Next. Next. Button. Jowl is eager to buy magical items so that he can sell them to other clients for profit. Sell the necklace of nature for 95 gold. Radio button. Oh, whoa. Check. One of two. 95 gold just for that piece of junk? Mm, I don't know, though. I don't want to give up our nature abilities. But yeah, we can get 95 gold for that. Stop considering selling something to Jowl. Radio oh, button. Oh, man. Two of two. Okay. Now, nah, I'm going to keep that. Though I wouldn't mind some money. But uh, I'm going to keep that necklace for now. Next. Button. Stop considering selling something to Jowl. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of two. Next. Button. We're not selling that. For now. Uncheck. I'll think about it. 
Look at Jowl's merchandise. Sell artifacts to Jowl. Leave Jowl's card. Radio button. Uncheck. Five of five. Next. Button. Visit. You do many things during your time in Elmvale. Visit Zuno. All Jowl, right. We, that was nice to know. There's so many vendors. I love this. Visit Jowl. Leave Elmvale for... Next. Leave Elmvale. Visit Jowl. Visit Zuno. Look into your runa bag full of demon stone. Get a job or a hobby. Radio button. Uncheck. Let's get a job. We need to make some Check. money. Let's get a job. Next. Button. Uncheck. As you try to schedule some more things to do, you realize that you simply have no more time left in the day. Uh, we took, we did too much physical training. So, even stuff like a job means we need to leave space open for it. So, I do appreciate the developer's sense of, like, it's not like you can only do so much in one day. I, I really do like that, but no, we can't do this. So, uh, this is really intriguing. You do many things during your time. Talk to your companions. Radio buff. Look into your runa bag full of demon stone. Visit Zuno. Another trap. Visit Jowl. The pet. Leave Elmvale for Vernex. Radio button. I think we're done. We five have nothing five. else we can do. We've done all we can do. Next. Button. Next. Bu leave Elmvale for Vernex. Radio button. Uncheck. Five of five. Let's go Check. to our next mission. Next. Button. Next. The winter snows have stopped and spring is just around the corner. It is just about time to leave Elmvale when the ghostly visitor returns. You are standing in the middle of the small village Stop and looking up at the statue of the wizard when the blue mist swirls around you. The translucent image of the man is suddenly standing next to you and also looking up at the statue. I don't like it. It's not a bad likeness, don't you think? He says. I don't care. Are you the ghost of the great wizard? Radio button. Check. One of four. You're him, aren't you? Radio button. Uncheck. Two of four. Is this a trick of some kind? Radio button. Uncheck. Three what am I, four. Bambi? I am? What do you want? Radio button. Uncheck. Four of four. I'm gonna be nice to a ghost. You never know. Is this your him? Are you the ghost of the great wizard? Radio button. Check. Might One as well four. find out. Next. Button. I know we don't have the skills to the learn anything precisely. from it. He says, I'm a projection from the past. Prince Kyle ascended the throne last month. You remind me of him. I think he's going to make a great king. Much better than his father, whom I served for many years. Please, don't tell me anything about his reign. I've seen too much of the future already and if I'm not careful, I could create a paradox and this spell will collapse in upon itself and this conversation will cease to exist. Don't care. The blue mist continues to churl and flow from the man's feet as he turns away from the statue to look you in the eyes. The fact that I've gone through so much trouble to help you should show how important your future is. Daria isn't the only kingdom in peril. If you fail, this entire plane of existence could be destroyed. Well, dude, that's not my problem. Don't put all that crap on my back. The ghostly image of the great wizard walks around to the back of the statue and gestures for you to follow. He no, makes a no, 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 and you no, see no, the outline dude. of a door appear in the stone. You go ahead, you go ahead, you go ahead behind the back of that statue by yourself. You don't need me back there. During another trip into the future, I saw that this statue would be erected in my honor. So I commissioned a yeah, to be built beneath it. I he bet says, you I will want leave you some things to make you. I served your family for a very long time. Prince Game, you are the culmination of a line of great rulers. I say to the gods that <laughs> these items are my culminations succeed. at all. What did you leave me? Radio button. Check. One yeah, three. what did you leave me? Yeah. Good question. How do I get inside? Radio button. Uncheck. Two of three. Uh. What could happen that could destroy an entire plane of existence? Radio button. Uncheck. Three of three. Um, well, let's find out about this plane of existence. Check. Trash. Next. Button. Next. We'll find button. out about some of this information. I don't want to know too much Before the ghost wizard can answer, you see wizard. a second cloud of blue mist appear. Your companion turns to the side and raises his hands in preparation of casting a spell. But before he can do anything, a nightmarish creature steps forth from the new mist. It has gray skin Great. that makes as thick as leather and its eyes glow bright red. A pair of yellow horns jut from its forehead and sharp teeth fill its mouth. <coughs> it isn't time, your wizard companion says. How can you be here? Well, dude, you're the one bringing up a bunch of paradoxes and taking risk and stuff and exposing me to demons and destructions of my realm and you know creating time paradox problems just get your ass back to where you belong instead of answering the creature turns toward the statue and slams its shoulder into the outline of the door the statue shudders and the outline begins to fade away no the wizard shouts it's reactivated the protected wards i can't ellipsis well you dude you're a wizard you should have foreseen this you know the creature turns toward the wizard and growls. In a flash of fangs and claws, the beast jumps onto the translucent image of the man. The two clouds of blue mist slam into each other and explode outward with a loud concussive blast. You're thrown to the ground and when you stand back up, you see that both the wizard and the creature have vanished. Even worse, the outline of the door is fading away. You'll only have one chance to get inside. Uh, should we do this now? I mean, is this the time to be going into a paradox? Uh, alternate universe? Search for a lever or switch that would open the door. Radio button. Check. One of four. Okay. Study the mechanism and try to find a way to stop it from closing. Radio button. Uncheck. Push your way through the door before it closes. Radio button. Uncheck. 
Use your spikes and hammer to stop the door from closing entirely. Radio button. Oh, Unchecked. that's right. Radio we have four. spikes and hammer. Let's, let's, I don't know. Who, who knows? None of this is going to work. Next. But use your spikes and hammer to stop the door from closing entirely. Radio button. Uncheck. Four we'll, four. we'll use our spikes and hammer. Check. Let's see if these useless things we spend money on work. Next. Button. Uncheck. You quickly wedge the spike into the crack and slam it with your hammer. The door shutters and groans. Although there is magic involved, the mechanism is also physical. You are able to use a second spike to wedge the door open a little further. By using a few more spikes, the door is slowly forced open enough for you to enter. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Excellent. The torch is lining the walls ignite with red flame. You see a narrow staircase leading down into the wizard's hall. When you reach the last step, you find yourself standing in a large room that has many pictures carved into the walls all around you. You see that they depict various scenes from the famous wizard's life as an adventurer. Scattered across these pictures, you see gems of various colors. In the center Ooh. of the room, you see a large stone chest. Let's grab across all the this loot. Of the chest, you see more gems that match the colors of the gems on the walls. It appears to be some type of mystical lock. Had the Elm Vale wizard oh, been here, he no would have been puzzles. able to tell you which gems to press in order to open the locked chest. Last time I gave up on a game, I gave up on Serenia because of that puzzle inside of the uh, the cabinet storage area. Oh, what a what a difficult puzzle that one was. Press the gem being held in the claws of a large dragon. Radio button. Check. All one right, we got a puzzle. Oh, no. <laughs> Puzzles. They're they're important, though. Ugh. Okay, let's figure this thing out here. Press the gem embedded on a battle axe carried by a dwarf who is facing a terrifying monster. Radio button. Uncheck. Two of six. I don't know which one. Probably all of them are going to do something bad. Press the gem sitting on the top of a staff and held by a wizard standing in front of a broken tower. Radio button. Uncheck. Three this of six. sounds strangely familiar. Press the gem that sits on the buckle of a halfling that is carrying away from a group of terrifying undead creatures. Radio button. Uncheck. Four. Press the gem on the necklace of a pretty woman surrounded by trees and dancing elves. Radio button. Uncheck. Oh, no, pretty woman and dancing elves? Yeah, I want to know about that. Try to recall the legend of the Elm Vale wizard. Radio button. Uncheck. Six of six. Oh, it's, we gotta do wizard stuff. Why can't we talk to the pretty lady with the elves? I don't care about the elves. Throw them away. Press the gem. Try next. Bu try press the gem on the necklace of a pretty woman surrounded by trees and dancing elves. Radio button. Uncheck. We'll go Five ahead and six. check. Get the pretty lady out of the way. Next button. Next. You are just about to press the button when you see a glowing blue light on another gem. It looks to be the same color as the mist that accompanied the time traveling wizard. You okay. press the other gem instead. One by one, the lights of the gems ignite and lead you through the sequence. You realize that the order of the gems follows the chronological adventures of the wizard. I have to do this stupid wizard. Mystery plus three. Fine. As you press the gem being held by the large dragon, the stone chest swings open. To your surprise, you see that it's completely empty. The powerful artifacts and bricks of gold that could have helped you with your revenge against Susak are missing. Okay. How is this possible? A voice says from beside you. You see that it's the Elmvale wizard once again, although he looks nearly 20 years older. Well, dude, would you stop bringing demons around? You're messing up all my stuff. Where is the treasure? Radio button. Check. One of three. Where have you been? Radio button. Uncheck. Why didn't you help me get down here? Radio button. Uncheck. Next. Button. Why d Where have you been? Radio button. Uncheck. Two of well, three. we'll ask him about the treasure first. Next. Button. The I don't know. The wizard says. I'm sorry, but it looks like my attempts to help you have been in vain. From your perspective, I was attacked by a creature a short time ago. It was from the far future. It wants events to unfold in a much different way, so it's been countering my attempts to help you. We've fought many times since then. Yeah, okay, whatever. The ghostly man sits down on the stone chest and looks at you kindly. You remind me of a happier time, he says with a soft smile. My love affair was kept a secret from the world, but my blood flows through your veins all the same. I suppose that this makes me your great-grandfather, with many other greats thrown in for good measure. Well, I'm glad you're family, dude. You've been looking at me kind of hard, man. Keep your hands to yourself. Your ancient ancestor grins at you, which makes his many years seem to melt away. This is very good news. This means that we are linked and I can cast this temporal projection spell many more times without using as much energy. That thieving beast may have foiled our plans today, but I'm not giving up yet. Unfortunately, I'm exhausted and have to return. We'll speak again. Yeah, okay, granddad. See you later, gramps. The wizard looks around at the various scenes that have been carved into the walls. A soft smile spreads across his face as he reminisces about his past. This was all so long ago. Take the gems, he says. They're worth something anyway. Ooh, we will meet again. Cool. Good luck. I need that money because I got no money. I need I need some money. The wizard fades away, leaving you alone with the empty chest. You pluck the gems from the carvings, knowing that they'll fetch a good price. Yeah, I need some cash. I, I am kind of broke. Gold plus 50. Ooh, cool. Very nice. 
there is nothing more for you to do with the statue. It's time to leave Elmvale and find the mountain pass that will lead into Vernex where the consortium of Planwalkers makes its home. Carla sits on her horse, waiting for everyone to get ready. Sister Jerry is also mounted, as are Petra and Thea. Yeah, Sister Jerry's mounted. Get back up on that mount, Sister Jerry. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's you are too surprised here. to see Carla's parents arrive just before you leave. They have no Aww, idea who you really are Carla, or what the full story is, but they hope their little girl goodbye. goodbye and wish her well. Carla blushes in embarrassment until the goodbyes are complete and her Aww, parents have returned okay. to the store. Show love to your parents, man. That's not a bad. That's not a bad thing, Carla. Give love to your parents, man. You know they don't have forever to be here. One day you'll be a parent. You're gonna want your kids to give you love. You know, be be good to your parents, people. All you kids out there, be nice to your parents. Shit, man, they're doing the best job they can. You are ready to go. Radio button check. All One right, we two. got some money, but it's not enough. We're just gonna save that money because we accidentally we accidentally bought that. Uh, <laughs> accidentally, I like saying it that way because it's so dumb uh we accidentally i i had accidentally bought a uh, holy water so <laughs> stupid you hurry back to the stores eager to do some last minute shopping before you go uh, hell no Unchecked. i'm two just gonna two. save my money because this thing is kind of tight fist with the money i'm just gonna keep my 50 uh gold and pile up my loot a little bit you know no i'm not I'm not spending my money next button next you hurry back. Next. Button. You hurry back to the stores, eager to do some last minute shopping before you go. Radio button. Uncheck. Next. Button. Next. You have everything you think you need and join your friends. Yeah. Let's go, Farty. <laughs> Good job, Farty. Crop dust these fools. Farty, your horse, watches the other animals calmly, eager to get some exercise after a long winter yeah. of activity. Yeah, go on, Farty. Blow out that stink, dude. Oh, yeah, Farty. A few weeks later finds you still traveling. Carla has shown herself to be a good guide, finding comfortable places to stop at night and never erring in direction. There were a few other early spring travelers on the road, but none of them the size of the large caravan you find yourself overtaking. The rear guards eye you warily as you draw near, but due to their large number, they seem content to let you approach. Yeah, well, we're not messing with these fools. Ask. Hail travelers, where are you bound? Radio button, check. One of three. Uh, we can talk to them. Encourage Sister Jerry to do the talking so you can relieve them of some of their valuables. Radio button, uh, uncheck. No, Two our three. thieving is not very good. Say nothing and hurry past them. Radio button, we'll uncheck. Just talk to three them. Three of three. Next, button. I like to say hi to people when I walk by them. I hate when people are just silent. Next, button. I think it's rude. Next, button. Next. Vernex, the guard says. Haven't you heard? The four dukes are going there for some sort of special vote. Our employer, Duke Otto, is already there and it looks like he'll be staying a while. So he sent for more of his belongings and his house staff. Cool. Interesting. Ask, what is this big vote? Radio button. Check. One of three. Ask, will High Chancellor Zusak be there too? Radio button. Say nothing. Radio. Next. Button. I'm not going to ask about Zusak. Don't be so obvious. Say Next. Button. Let's you ask Don't him. know. Whatever it is, we'll hear about its results before we even reach the mountains. Yeah, we're not going to ask about Zuzak. We're going faster than they are, Sister Jerry says. But on our current course, we won't get there until after the vote as well. There's another path, Carla says. It's riskier. But if you want to get there in time to see the vote take place, it's the only way. Yeah, Carla, this is where you do your little ambush there on your little secret path. I'm not falling for it. I'm not falling for it, Carla. Okay, let's go, you say, realizing that this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Might as well. Maybe we'll get some treasure. Your party picks up speed and leaves the slow-moving caravan far behind. A few days later finds you leaving the main road and going down a smaller path toward the mountains in the distance. A few days after that finds you going even slower as the path becomes filled with rocks and weeds. Great. This isn't faster. Thea grumbles as the group is forced to walk their horses over another particularly rough patch. We'd have been better to have stayed on the main road. Yeah, very much. Shortcuts always become long cuts. Say, I hope you know where you're going, Carla. Radio button, check. Um... One of four. Ask, are you sure this is the right path, Carla? Radio button, on chat. It's no two use in asking any of these dumb questions. Say, don't worry, Thea. Carla knows the way. Radio button, on chat. Oh, uh, we say that, then we're going to piss off Thea. Let's just be nice. I wouldn't want anybody second guessing my skills as a scout. Say what you know about the route. Radio button, on chat. Four of four. Oh, uh, what we know about the route? Not a freaking thing. Say, don't worry, Thea. Carla knows the way. Radio button, on chat. Three I'm not going to piss off Thea. Say what you know about the route. Radio button. Uncheck. I don't. Well, let's just say what we know about the check. route. Next. 
button. I don't want to piss off the Unfortunately, Thea. it's not very much. Needed 60 geography or level in Ranger. Oh, we can actually do things based on how our studies have gone? Nice. Wow, that is a new wrinkle. My skills are actually going to affect how we travel. That is awesome. Say, I hope you know where you're going, Carla. Radio button, check. Ask, are you sure this? Say, don't worry, Thea. Carla knows the way. Next, button. I don't give a crap. Say, don't worry, Thea. Carla knows the. Ask, are you sure this is the right path, Carla? Radio button. They're giving me no choice. I can either, I can either say something to Thea and get a little Carla relationship. I don't give a crap though. So. Next. Let's button. just be snarky. This, yes, this is the right way. She says softly, with a trace of frustration at your lack of trust. We might be going Great, right now, of course. But once we get through this pass, we'll be much closer to Vernex than had we taken the main road. Yeah, well, I did want to ask that question. The relationship plus five and Carla relationship minus five. Oh, well, we got, okay. Yeah, I hate when they put us between two people, but it's awesome. So it's a good thing we did that because I didn't want our Thea relationship to go down. Our muscular mama, I don't give a crap about Carla. That's just a pain in the ass. So I don't care. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. Relationship with Carla went down. Relationship with Thea went up. All I care about is my main, my main print. The princess posse must remain high relationship levels. The small path eventually leads to a narrow cave in the base of the mountains. Ooh, the snow covered peaks sit in the clouds above you. It's still very cold, as though the mountains are reluctant to let winter go and allow spring to begin. Your timing is perfect, since there is still some snow on the ground, but not enough to prevent you from traveling. Nice, a cave. Carla goes through her saddlebags and retrieves a lantern which she affixes to a long pole and attaches to her horse's saddle, giving enough light to lead the way. Bravely, she leads the group into the darkness. Jess concentrates for a moment and when she is done, her eyes are glowing with a white light. From her confident steps, you assume that she can see in the dark. Sister Jerry says nothing as she also retrieves a lantern and follows the others. Your own lantern adds to the general glow. Cool. We're, we're lit up like a Christmas tree. There's nothing that would be attracted to that. You barely step inside when you see a small shine against the wall. Okay. All right. Looks like this is a good place to stop. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I must, I must pee. I must pee pee before we go into this weird shrine and add all our light and come up with another impossible to pass trap. <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun with this game, but thank you very much, everybody. Um, this has been very, very fun. I'm loving Lost Air 1. It's so fun. I can't imagine all the other parts, how fun they're going to be. I'm having this much fun. The writing is top notch. The game mechanics are amazing. I love this relationship system. I'm having so much freaking fun with this thing. And it's a juggling act. It's awesome. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a break right now. We will come back again for another episode of Lost Air 1 soon. So your playful prince will once again get down to business. You know what I'm saying with these hot mamas. But uh, yeah, but some of the salty mamas. No, we don't want them. Get out of my house, salty mamas. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much, everybody. Having a good time. Having a lot of fun playing this. This is game... And you've double tapped your way to the end of this part. Come back for part five. I think part five. Yeah, part five. And uh, see what happens next. Okay. Take care, everyone. And thank you, my noise, for the music. Appreciate it. And thank you for all of you boosting our subscriptions up. I think we're at 62 now. Take care, everyone. <laughs>